All right, so today we're going to be taking a look ahead to next season for Indiana. Not really a great year last year, three wins, but they actually have a really impressive offseason, in my opinion, taking a look at what they've done in the portal, in recruiting. You bring over new coach Kurt Signetti from James Madison. He's had James Madison as his top 25 team the last couple of years, at least borderline. Uh, really would have been the group of five representation almost a couple of years, except for you know their first couple of years in the FBS. They can't represent the group of five in the college football playoff, all that stuff, uh, and the New Year Six Bowls. But let's go ahead and take a look here at the recruiting rankings. All right, so as you can see now, 59th ranked recruiting class, 22nd ranked transfer portal class for Indiana. Really impressive there. We'll get to that here in a second, though. First off, let's look at the recruiting class here. You got six enrollees. So you got a four-star quarterback coming in, 18th ranked quarterback. He'll probably play for them down the road. And then let's see, 38th ranked corner. Then you got a couple that have signed their letter of attempt but haven't officially committed just yet. All right, but transfer portal wise, this is where I think they really have won and improved their team a bunch for next year and really have set themselves up for a pretty successful season this upcoming season. Uh, while they probably won't be, you know, automatically top tier in the Big Ten, I think they'll be kind of middle tier, be that barrier. They'll be, they'll be able to beat the bad teams and then not beat the good teams. It's kind of what I predict what's going to happen. But he brings a lot of guys with him from James Madison, talking about Signetti. All right, you can see here a couple four stars. All right, you got a receiver coming in from James Madison with him, four star. But the main one I want to focus on here is right here. All right, four star quarterback Curtis Rourke from Ohio. I think this is a really big get. He's put up a lot of really impressive stats at Ohio and won a bunch of ball games at Ohio. Should be their instant starter at Indiana and really should improve this team instantly. Like I said, you've got a lot of four stars, a lot of three stars here from the transfer portal, and I think they're going to really impact this team tremendously and really make them pretty competitive in the Big Ten. Let's look at their schedule for next season. Pull this up real quick. All right, so as you can see it on your screen now, all right, start the season with FIU. That should be a win. Western Illinois, that should be a win. Then we get into Big Ten territory. All right, at UCLA, believe it or not, I think that's a win. UCLA is kind of in shambles right now with Chip Kelly. He's flirting with the NFL trying to get out of his head coaching job yet he's still the head coach at UCLA. I don't know what's going on there. He may not be the time he may not be the head coach there by the time you watch this video, who knows. But at the moment he is still the head coach. I'm going to give Indiana the win in that one actually, which put him at 3 and 0. Charlotte, that's a win for Indiana, put him at 4 and 0. Then you've got Maryland at home. All right, Maryland, pretty solid team usually under Loxley, but they're losing their quarterback Talia Tagovailoa. So, we'll see how they'll be. Uh that's probably a 50-50 game. Uh, let's see, we've got them at 4-0. That'll probably put them at, let's go 4-1. I think Maryland wins that one. Maryland's usually solid. Uh, you go to, to Northwestern. Northwestern kind of the sleeper last year. Actually pretty good season. Uh, I think Northwestern will, will improve. So that puts you at 4-2. and two. Nebraska, I think that's a win for uh, Indiana. You've got Washington at home. Washington is actually not going to be near the team they were last year. Michael Penix Jr. is gone. Roman Dunsey has gone. Dylan Johnson has gone. Kellen DeBoer has gone. I think Indiana actually beats Washington, and that puts you at, what, 6-2 and two at the moment. Not bad record. Michigan State, that's a win for Indiana. 7-2. and two. Michigan, I think that'll be a loss. Michigan's going to be tough to beat no matter how they are. So 7-3. and three. Ohio State, at Ohio State, that's going to be a loss. Let's see, 7-4. Purdue, that's a win. 8-4. and four. If Indiana can get 8-4, and four, Seven and five, somewhere in that range. I think that's a successful season in the first year for Kurt Signetti. He can build upon that, bring in some more transfers, and really get Indiana rolling. Uh, I think they brought in the right coach. Like I say, he's won a lot of ball games at James Madison, whether it's FBS or FCS. Look up his Division II record too. He's actually won a lot of ball games there, and I think Indiana has the right guy. And he's brought in a pretty successful transfer portal class this off season. Like I said, they really should help them kind of move up a little bit in the pecking order in the Big Ten automatically. But those are my thoughts on them next season as of right now. This is all subject to change come spring ball, come whoever, whatever injuries happen, whatever transfers happen, who knows. But let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. Make sure to like this video. Most importantly, subscribe.